an atom is so small that the diameter of a single hair is roughly 400,000 atoms thick. Hence scientists needed to come up with a clever solution in order to image an atom. This is achieved through scanning tunneling microscopy, or STM. It more or less works like a gramophone which uses its tip to read the grooves of the vinyl. A sample is placed in an environment where vibrations are minimized. Then, a probe with a very sharp tip is moved very close to the surface of the sample maintaining a separation almost equal to the diameter of a single atom. By applying a voltage at the tip of the probe and the sample, a flow of current between the two is observed as electrons tunnel from the sample to the tip. The current is increased when the tip is closer to the atom and decreased when the distance between them is larger. There are two methods of constructing the sample's atomic image, through constant current or constant height. The first method works by moving the tip of the probe on top of the sample and trying to keep a constant current reading. In order to keep the current constant, the tip has to move up and down. The data processing unit records the movement of the tip and is unable to construct into an image the surface of the sample. The second method works by moving the tip of the probe on top of the sample at a constant height and record different current readings. Once again, the data processing unit records the different currents and deduces the existence of an atom at that region. In the final step of both methods, we analyze the data of current and height that we have gathered and we use them to display the whole surface of the sample with atomic resolution. Although scanning tunneling microscopy initially might not seem so important, it has an indirect impact in our everyday lives since it is used to study and develop nanoscale components for our next generation electronic devices, study DNA molecules, and the most stunning of all is giving us the possibility to write with atomic resolution.